Carver Hawkeye Arena played host to a major event. Every four years, the nation's best female and male wrestlers battle it out for the right to call themselves U.S. Olympians. Three different styles of wrestling were on display, men's and women's freestyle, and Greco-Roman. The director of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, Dan Gable Museum, Kyle Klingman, felt that the state of Iowa is the best place to host the wrestling trials. The state of Iowa is known for its wrestling, and this is special to have it here because we embrace it better than any state. It starts with Dan Gable. He's the iconic figure, and it goes from there. And it's part of the fabric of what we know and what we do. So all of these surrounding communities embrace it and are part of it. And so since we're a rural community and we have that as more of an option, it's our outlet. It's what we're known for. Of Russia. Dan Gable could only lose the gold if he's disqualified or pinned. And we're in the final three minutes of this man who has so dedicated himself to this one thing, a gold medal. Gable, a graduate from Iowa State University, is most famous for his tenure as head coach at the University of Iowa, where he won 15 NCAA team titles between 1976 and 1997. Well, you know, being the second time around in a row, uh, so 2012, Iowa City hosted. Now 2016, Iowa City hosted it. I think they're more ready as a town. Now, I think what we hope to accomplish is that when the fans leave Iowa City, that they're more excited than they were in 2012. In Iowa City, Jared Becker, Wall TV News.